Holy smokes, it looks like we're going to run into a tree. He called me elderly. Flat out, out, out. Mousy doo doo. Oh shoot, that's a huge hole. Thanks for pointing out my speech impediment. I'll modern it up a little. I'll let you in on a little secret. Are you mentally ambiguous? <laughs> Did you call me dumpy? <laughs> Next to it, right here, if we're clever enough. Oh my, God. oh my gosh. Dang. Well, we went to a concert last night, and today we made an important discovery, and it's devastating news. Turns out we're not the spring chickens we thought we were. We might be old now, and nobody told us. No. I mean, when you're in your 30s, like, when you're in your late 30s, like, uh, when you're in your 40s, like we are, you can't just go to a concert and then wake up and just get to work. But now, we're gonna do that. We've got a deadline. We've got the rest of today and tomorrow in order to get ready for our family camping trip. We'd like to get some work done on Harvey, and we haven't even opened up the travel trailer that we're going to be taking up north for our camping trip. We've got a lot of stuff to do. The big project that we're hoping to tackle today is the electrical, getting our wires run so we can start to put the walls back together and eventually get cabinets and the couch we were just sitting on is gonna go in there. We're just gonna draw out real quick sort of what the plan is for the electrical in here. Electrical in an RV is a little bit different than what you have in a home because it runs on both AC and DC. Also, Tyler's favorite band. <laughs> so here's the general wiring plan right now for Harvey. All right, so if we have um, the back here. So That's here's great. his uh, headlights. Here's our driver's seat, passenger <laughs> seat. Um, this is the doghouse. Very important that you have that there. Very important. It is burning my foot to death. We have the bathroom here. And in that wall, we have a, a breaker panel for our AC, and we have a little um, fuse panel for our DC. So we're gonna actually end up getting a new fuse panel here. Let's talk about the DC first. So DC yeah. is what runs off of battery, okay? Whereas yeah. AC is your alternating current, and it's more of your shore power. So it's what's plugging into the post. All right, so we have right here is a battery and we're planning to go with just the one battery at this point. Um, some people get into solar. If we were gonna get into doing solar for this, we would wind up probably with a bank of several batteries, um, but we're gonna mostly rely on AC shore, but we do want to have several items that run off DC. So if we're not around shore power, we'll still have excess to use certain appliances and whatnot. Up here in the van, we'll call it, you also have a battery. And then I don't know what an alternator is shaped like, but based on you working on it last time, it's somewhere over <laughs> here. And um, the alternator charges this battery as we drive, and it also charges our house battery. So the house battery is getting power from our alternator. From there, there's a cord that somehow winds its way probably under the camper to this fuse panel now from here we're still using the battery power and it's going to go to power um all right so just to visualize we'll have like a couch l-shaped deal here so we want to have fans back here for when we're driving so we'll have probably mounted somewhere in here don't hold us to this some kind of a fan um, another fan over here so that when we're driving, um, if there's people buckled in the back, they'll have some wind. And then we'll also mount a fan up here so that there will be a fan for the bed. So when you're sleeping, you don't die of a heat stroke. We're also going to install our lights for the most part off of DC power. So we've got a ceiling light fixture here that we'll show you at some point in a later video. Um, this is going to be our kitchen over here. So we've got some under cabinet lights that we'll put in. 
We've got under cabinet lights that will go in up here. And then we also have a DC light in the bathroom in case our, if we're not on shore, our main light right now is the medicine cabinet. Um, so we have a DC light there. Um, we're going to have some cool little DC reading lamps here that have USB ports in the overhead bed, not down by my feet. Besides the lights, we're also going to run the water pump off of DC. So if you need to flush or something like that, um, you'll still have water. So we will most likely put the water pump over here under the couch to be determined. But um, there's already some DC wiring that comes over here, so we won't really have to shoot it over there like that. But we'll have our water pump somewhere underneath, most likely underneath that couch. All right, and then the last thing that we're going to have on the DC is we'll install, um, we'll probably have some sort of little table here behind the couch. Um, and as well as an end table, at least on one side, if not both. So we're going to put some USB charging ports somewhere around this couch so that as we're driving, people need to charge phones or that sort of thing. We'll have access to do that. Now for the AC, I'm going to do this in red. Um, the AC will come in from, we've got a shore power cord here that's 30 amp cord. So um, that will come in from either our shore power or our generator. So um, we do plan to have a generator. Actually, we have it already. We got a... <laughs> it's a Predator generator from Harbor Freight. It's a 3500 super quiet inverter model. We'll have electric coming out of the breaker box that will power our refrigerator, um, our AC and heat that's in the ceiling. Um, we're going to have an induction cooktop, which I don't know the exact layout of the kitchen yet, but we'll assume it's going to be there. Um, we're going to have some little funsy things like an ice maker. Um, we'll have some outlets, so if we want to plug things in, we'll just pretend that we know where those are going to go. Um, you know, toaster, coffee pot, all of that stuff will run off of AC. So not to complicate things further, but we are going to also have a converter. So what the converter does is it turns AC into DC. And that is not to be confused with an inverter, which converts DC to AC. So we are not planning to go with an inverter. If we had solar and we were going to have a whole bunch of DC being created, we would go with an inverter to power our AC items that are here in red. We're not planning to do that on this. We're keeping it simple. Maybe down the road, if we decide we'll need solar, we'll do something like that. Um, but for now, not doing that. And we're planning to go with the converter. So what that's gonna do is it's a little box that we'll mount in here somewhere. Who knows, we'll call it right there. And that is gonna take our AC power and when we're plugged into shore, what it's going to do is it's going to power all of those DC items. In other words, when we're parked at a campground or we're somewhere using our generator, we're not going to be using the battery power in order to use our fans and our lights and things like that. We'll be able to use the shore power to power all of our DC battery type of items. So it's easy as that. Now let's get to work. Draw a happy little tree. Holy smokes, it looks like we're going to run into a tree. <laughs> <laughs> you know that commercial when they talk about you becoming your parents? There was a couple episodes last night. Specifically, Christy was saying <laughs> it's trouble. <laughs> so I might have said a couple things that made me sound elderly. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> well. I'll share it. Just you have to wait. So stay tuned later in this video, I'll tell you. You know what they say, if the shoe fits. Oh, hey, fighting words. Um, <laughs> I just call him like I see him. He called me elderly just now. <laughs> I don't think that was my words. <laughs> okay, real quick, I'm gonna show you guys exactly what we're gonna do with the electrical, or at least what we intend. This is the DC fuse panel here that Christy so nicely drew for us in her drawing. Um, it's got the old style fuses. We are gonna update that with the blade style fuses. And then behind that is our AC circuit breaker panel. Um, of course, we've gotta check and make sure everything's good there, but uh, should be able to just reuse that. And then we have a 
converter that I am also going to have to fit in here um, somewhere. I should have enough room. Boop! Bingo! Out of there. If the glass fuses weren't already broken, then now they are. <laughs> There we go. Done. My work here wow. is done. I wish the fridge was that easy to remove. We got a nice little shelf now. It's perfect. These should be our connections coming in from our house battery, which is currently sitting behind us. So I'll we'll take those off, and we know that those run into a conduit back here, and they run underneath the RV and pop back up over here in the, by this house battery. Now let me ask you a serious question. Sure. Are we keeping this carpet in there? Um, if I go pull that big black shore cord out, can we cut that carpet out of there? We certainly can try. Oh my goodness. All right, I brought this out for inspiration for you. Um, actually, the one thing I forgot is we're gonna have a water heater that will also most likely go under the sink there. So there it is. Are you inspired? Oh, totally. All right, gonna try to cut down on the old stinky situation here. Um, that carpet goes all the way underneath this surround. Oh, do you think it goes under the whole bathroom? <sighs> I, I bet. All right, well, we'll just get out what we can reach. Right. But uh, save this, cause maybe we could do something oh, with it. We'll make a pillowcase. Yeah. Oh. Here is what we are going to take camping. So while Tyler works on getting that fuses going, I'll give you a quick peek in, in here. We haven't really been in here this year, it's sad to say. It's a 31 foot Forest River Cardinal. We haven't done any updates or anything to it. But the main thing today is make sure there's no animals that have taken residence in there and start to get it de-winterized. So we got this camper at an online auction, basically bought it sight unseen. Oh, and these. it's been an awesome camper for us for I mean, a few years. Where do you right, go? We do have a V. Hopefully that's the only, oh. looks like a yellow jacket. That'd be terrible if those took up <laughs> residents in here. What, spider web? Yeah. Oh my gosh. Whew, let me throw this down. All right, so we bought this for Harvey, ice maker, but I thought, well, Harvey's not quite there yet, so we're going to take this with us on our camping trip, and I'm excited to have Is this ice. dumb? We haven't hooked it up to power yet, so our slide out here is currently slid in. Oh. So we'll show you in a little bit with that slide out, out. Slide out, out, out. Slide out, out, out. So give us the grand tour. Well, this is the couch. Yep, this actually folds out, believe it or not. Yeah. We usually don't fold it yeah. out, but... Uh, this is actually a table, but it turns into a bed. Behind here is a bunk bedroom, two yep. bunk beds. There's two bunks in there and some oh, storage. Here's our kitchen. Wonderful. Our pantry and radio and all that stuff. Bathroom. Bathroom. And I actually love this layout with the bathroom in between the master bedroom and the rest of the camper it kind of just separates the two areas master bedroom uh yeah and that's it that's, that's it. the whole tour so let's take a peek around look in some of the cabinets and things and see if we see any water damage see if we see any mouse poop or the anything rats like are that coming out. rats raccoons oh know. boy what do you guys think should we take these curtains and reuse them in harvey are they beautiful <laughs> you don't think Oh, beauty, beauty. So we're going to also need to make sure the slide out's still working, check the tires. I found what might be referred to as mousy doo-doo. Oh, no. All right. All right. Oh, okay. I know where they're coming from. Oh shoot, that's a huge hole. Are you excited yeah. to go camping? Yeah. Which, you, you're you going to sleep on this couch this yes. year? Sweet. All right, can you tell them where we're going? Michigan. Yeah, but where? <laughs> where do we live, do you know? Ish, yeah, close. Close enough. Yeah. <laughs> All right, where are we going? 
Mm, no. No. <laughs> well, ah, right there. Yeah, we're going up there. I'm not originally from Michigan, but if you've ever met anybody from Michigan, you can always tell because of how they can tell you where they're from. Yeah, that's because we're the mitten state. Uh, what do you say? The mitten state. You say mitten? M mitten. Do they, <laughs> do they not have teas in Michigan? There's no teas. <laughs> There's no teas. There's no teas in mitten, button, mountain. <laughs> what? <laughs> there isn't. Uh, no, but we do have a handy map wherever you go in Michigan. So if you're not familiar, right, the state is shaped like a mitten. And for those of you <laughs> yeah. not familiar with Michigan, there's an entire other Michigan oh. north of us yeah. that is also Michigan. It's called the Upper Peninsula. There you go. And it is about it yeah. also has a map right, it, right in. it's yeah that's a pretty handy way to do it yeah oh see oh look oh michigan <laughs> yeah thanks for pointing out my speech impediment <laughs> it's <laughs> any other people not pronounce t's i think it's normal uh, i think it's normal you also but, say ohio so well it's because i'm from ohio as you can see, we're back out in the beautiful RV, the RV, and um, we're getting going on this new fuse box. This is our old panel and right. the new. Ooh, look at the new oh, one. Wow. Nice and shiny. Comes with fuses already. So we have the speaker wire. I think we're deciding we're just going to cut that out. Yes. And if we want to listen to music in the back, we've got Bluetooth speakers and things like that. So hack them off. I get to do the honors. Right. Just these three right here. Yeah, that should be good. Okay. I've never used fancy clippers like this. Just I whack. Don't, yeah. Just have at it. Dude. Oh, not those. So I'm going to use my multimeter to help us figure out where these wires are going. And in order to do that, I'm going to turn them onto the uh, ohm setting. And what that does is it'll give us an impedance reading or a measurement. Oh, fancy. Yeah. Um, so. 1.0 right now is an open connection, but if I touch the two leads together and it zeroes out, that means okay. it's a direct short or um, continuity. So what I wind up doing is taking one of the leads on one end of the wires, and so since the other is so handy to get to over here at the fuse box, we'll touch the other end to where it goes into the fuse panel, and then we know which wire we're on, and we can label them accordingly. All right. I'm touching the red lead to the black wire. Okay, I'm going to okay. come over here and I'm going to figure out which wire that is. It might not be any of these that are connected anymore. I just unplugged a wire. Maybe it's this one. Is it that one? No. No? Okay. Well, we've got to figure out where this wire is, is now. Is it yeah. this one? All right, let's try that one. It is that one, in fact. Ooh. You see our point zero zero one there? Now that we know where that one is, we're going to label that with some uh, painter's tape and a marker, and we can identify that for, you know, when we need to come over here. Fun fact. So, black uh, wiring in a camper, AC and DC, they're both positive. White is your common wire in both AC and DC in a camper. Finishing up labeling the wires so we know which ones are going to our new fuse block. And I have decided we're going to reuse one of these lights, but I don't like the kind of off-whitey, yellowish plastic color that that turns. So I'm going to give it a quick touch up with the white. And this one will be the one that goes in the bathroom, actually, um, kind of to serve if we aren't connected to shore power. Little mushroom update for all you fun gals and guys. <laughs> Sorry, super bad joke. Look at that thing. Here we have a different species. Wow. Can't forget about Big Daddy over here. Wanted all you guys to know how hard of a worker Tyler is. He was gone all week at his regular nine to five working long days in Boston, which is nowhere near the great Mitten state. <laughs> so, um, yeah, and I came home and here he is. So, yeah, good job.
Thanks. Did you do anything fun? Uh, I wasn't there sightseeing, so uh, mostly I was just stuck in a bunch of traffic. Oh, you didn't get to see the haba or, or anything? <laughs> no, I didn't see the haba. And I didn't need any clam chowder. Oh. <laughs> it was just, just a run-of-the-mill Boston trip. Oh, well, happy to have you home. Thanks, glad to be here. All right, now get back to work. Oh. It does look like you've made some progress here with the new fuse panel. So you got some wires in? Yeah. Just uh, terminating some wires, hooking them up. Got them sorted for the most part. I know where most of them are going. All right. So goal, finish the DC wiring. I mean, looking around, obviously, we just need to get the wires where they need to be so we can start closing up walls and ceilings. We're not going to actually hang a bunch of light fixtures and stuff at this point, but um, starting to set the scene for when we get to that point. So we're going to get that wiring sort of wrapped up today and then tomorrow try the try to get the AC. Yeah, we still got to do the converter. Um, I've kind of cleared out a spot in here for that. Our circuit breaker panel here has four breakers. There's a 30 and then three 20s. And that 30 is uh, the shore power. The first 20 is an outlet in here, there's an outlet on the back side here, and another one that's laying loose. Then there's a second 20 amp breaker that comes over here to this side. Mm -hmm. It was the refrigerator and that outlet, and I think that's it. But we, you know, after we get our countertop in and we've got a hot water heater and we've got a coffee maker and different stuff, we'll uh, figure out different outlets for that. And then you know, the some people just call it a water heater. What do they call it? A hot water heater. <laughs> <laughs> it's a cold water heater, right? <laughs> no. <Yeah>. Okay. <laughs> <Right>. Anyway. <laughs> and then the third. And then the third 20 amp breaker goes to the <laughs> AC unit. All right. Yeah. So right now we have one breaker for the driver's side, one for the passenger side, and one for the ceiling. The problem is we have almost all of our 120 appliances and whatnot going in the kitchen. So the fridge will be here. We'll modify this cabinet somewhat to make that fridge fit there. Um, countertop, but then we'll have um, a cold water heater <laughs> under the <laughs> sink somewhere, most likely, unless we decide to stick it under a couch. Um, so we'll have the water heater. We'll have an induction cooktop. We'll have either a microwave or an air fryer, leaning toward air fryer, you know, modern it up a little. Um, we've got an ice maker. I'm trying to think of what else. We've got a lot that, that would go on this side. So, um, yeah, we might need to run another wire. We'll need to run to the store to get some switches and um, outlet boxes and things like that um, because we're talking about having where you can only use certain appliances at one time. Yes, which is kind of like a, th a thing in an RV, I think, right? Yeah. It's a thing. It's yeah. a real thing. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> I've been trying to tidy up a little. Things just get out of hand so quickly here. The main wire that we need to run for the DC is going to be up here for a ceiling light that we're going to wire to a switch that will be over here. We're going to have several of the lights on switches. Um, we're not going to run all of the wires for all of the lights right now because uh, we actually will be putting them in underneath cabinets that will be here eventually and they're not there yet so we're going to wait on some of that but we do want to get the wire in the ceiling here get the switch or get the wire over here for where the switch is going to go and then hopefully if it's not completely dark we'll get that um i don't even think we showed this yeah we'd like to get this little battery shutter offer installed right this will kill power to our house battery so in the event that something is left on, it doesn't drain all of our battery power. Yeah, so that'll be nice. We've got some, you know, USB charging ports and things that go in. Some of them have little LED lights that wouldn't drain a lot, but they'll drain some. So having that to be able to just shut it off. And then this is the converter we got. So we can have our shore power powering our DC items in here. <laughs> this is how Tyler's measuring. We're that trying is. to line it up with the AC. I like and to call it a with the door. So he's spun back I, and forth like six times. <laughs> hey, I got my uh, 
my eyes um, calibrated. And, they are not. Hey, I'll let you in on a little secret. Christy uses her body as a unit of measurement. Well, so, if you want to know how if, tall something is, right. if it goes up to here and then you go and see how tall something else is, <laughs> it works perfect. Right. <laughs> uh, yeah. So when we say everything takes longer than expected, we just went to get out the extension cord and we knew we had this business going on, but we didn't know we had that going on. Christy is going to use the Dremel in her cool shades. Their safety glasses. Well, well, it's risky business. Mm -hmm. All right. Oh, boy. <laughs> it's just... You know... <laughs> it's, it's fine. It's, it's, I know. It, yeah, it's perfect. It's not going to matter. It's literally melting it, though. Well... Whoa. Yeah, okay. Whoa. As long as she doesn't don't... take go through the roof, it'll be fine. She's going to... What? She's... I feel like if I go fast, it works better. Yeah. No. Yes, I mean... One-handed so... Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Stop. Go. That was bad. Oh, boy. It doesn't really matter. <laughs> oh, my gosh. <laughs> what is going on? I need two hands. So we'll lay the wire in this crevasse, and then we're going to Gorilla Tape the wires in place. It's perfect. The cravat. <laughs> we already established there's vicious pumas in the crevices. <laughs> oh, right. You want it more like roundy? Like from here? You can do you can change it up if you wanted to. I was just Well let's see if it even cuts this. <laughs> Not really. Well, you're just trying to burn a hole on it. <laughs> yeah, it'll work. Whew. <sighs> Look Perfect. At that. Oh man, that looked like the ants did our work for us. <laughs> <laughs> Which of your ants? <laughs> <laughs> this is going straight back to the DC fuse block. Is well, that, this is going to go to a switch. This is going to a switch. That's okay, but it, not it, installed yet. Correct. But this is the only thing that is technically on that switch. Yes. Okay. So. Oh, uh, yes. Well, uh, there's three switches. So we'll have under cabinet lights on one, under cabinet lights on another one, and then this light on the third one. Right. Yeah. But this is going to its own fuse, ultimately. I don't know. It's going to its own switch. The fuse part okay. is whatever you make it. This is an LED light that we're going to be using. Well, okay, so technically, I wish I had it. I'll put a picture of it somewhere on the screen. Like, look in this area. And um, it's not an RV light. It's a regular household light, but we bought light bulbs that will work on DC, which means that it can be used in an RV. <laughs> what in the world? Hey, it's I no, it's not an exact science. It's to test your mental ambidextrousness. <laughs> What's the word? <laughs> Ambiguity? No, I don't think that's <laughs> the your right mental word. acuity. Oh, acuity. <laughs> Ambiguity. <laughs> Are you mentally ambiguous? <laughs> I don't even know what that means. <laughs> <laughs> no. <sighs> Learning the hard way. I won't even <sighs> tell all these kind people that I used to be an English teacher. Oh. <laughs> right. Oh, shoot. Yeah. This is our converter that we're going to be using. Probably uh, bigger than necessary, but you'd rather go big than not have enough, I guess. Anyway, what my thought is here. Because of our space limitations in our little cubby here, I intend to put the converter on the floor. Now I'm going to raise it up off the floor with a couple of cut 2x3s. So I'll cut the 2x3s, we'll screw those to the floor, then we'll screw this to the 2x3s. Then, well, okay, so here's my second thought. I am going to move 
that little uh, the DC fuse panel up to one corner or the other, and then I'm going to have the shut off on the same uh, board as that. Okay. So I'll go see if we have any boards. Yeah. Um, like a foot wide. I don't know. I'll go look in our scrap. See, well, I'm going to measure this long. <laughs> well, that's okay. I'm going to go look for two boards this long. All right, thanks. I just can't move my finger. Right. Couldn't find one. Huh. But this one is approximately double what we need. Okay. So we're just going so, to cut it in half. It's a little long, but yeah, if we cut it in half, it's about perfection y. Great. Good job. Thanks. Got the directions. Tyler's getting that mounted down there. And apparently there's a fan on it that will not run all the time because it's Tempe-Pure Control. <laughs> the. Hmm. So that's good. It also says to make sure you have at least one inch of space around it. So we got plenty of room there for the Tempe-Pure. Tem pet your uh, Tempet you are. There's a couple of lugs on the back side of this battery shut off. So the positive battery side comes into one lug and then the other side, the other lug goes to the positive side on the fuse block. Or at least that's what I'm going to do. And that hopefully will be right. Right. <laughs> so the idea is nothing will be draining the battery if that's turned off. Correct. We're back at it again this morning and Harvey is still in the works. So in the meantime though, We've also got to get our travel trailer <laughs> ready for a camping trip. Yeah, Tyler said his anxiety level would go down quite a bit if we had this one ready before working more on that one. So it makes sense. We're under a deadline. So Yeah, we've got a few things to clean up, run some water through it. You know, just the general getting it prepped and ready to go. Okay, we're going to try to put the slide out. out. You want to hit the button, Ella? Just get ready for Dad to yell and panic if something goes wrong. So hold out, just, yep, boy, here it goes. All right, that's it. Hey, it worked. Oh, you yeah, we can look at the bunks. Do we have room to vacuum up our mouse nest? Hopefully there's not a raccoon living in here. But here's their living quarters and they got a nice little closet deal here. Our pantry's open again. Ooh, what do we have in here? Uh, what goodies did we leave? Ooh. Well, yeah. yeah, cups and plates and tablecloth. There's some of my pictures oh, down there. We got some games, love. Sorry. Just turned on the old water pump. There it is. Antifreeze. She's a little backed up. Apparently we used quite a bit of antifreeze. Still pink. So, Ella, you ready to do the honors? Yeah. I flushed all the lines, got the water heater flushed out. I'm just going to walk around, check the lights, check the tires, make sure everything's in good operational order. But uh, the water pump and everything seems to be working great. So we should be good to go. Anxiety level down? Down. All right. <laughs> Still up there, but lower than it was. Right. All right. Did you call me dumpy? <laughs> We gotta walk this down there anyway and clean this I'm off. Puff you in the snow. <laughs> Super dad here getting the bike rack going. Oh yeah, ready to roll. So are you gonna do your impersonation of me trying to park for the concert? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Let me get my costume on. Gotta find somewhere close to the exit to park and back in. That way it'll be easier to get out when we leave. I don't think I really sound like that, but 
Is that what my voice sounds like? <laughs> it, it is when you're old, in an old lady mode. Oh, boy. You gonna do your second impersonation of me? <laughs> now when we leave, we've got to beat the traffic. So we might have to leave early. <laughs> maybe maybe skip the last few songs. <laughs> oh, jeez. All right, people officially think we're crazy. However, the impersonation was pretty spot on. So we'll go with it. I will say though, judging from the average age of our viewers, I think there's people who are feeling me that, that understand my point. It just kind of hit me that that's not something a young person would say. So we're in the electrical wonderland known as Home Depot. Got to get some boxes, wire, outlets, hopefully get the electrical in good shape to wrap this up and feel good about heading out on our trip. Having some sticker shock at the price of wire. 40 bucks for that. Dang! We're back from the Home Depot. We made a surprise purchase here. Um, got a refrigerator. We wound up getting a 4.5 cubic foot. We were looking at something larger, but when we saw it in person, it was like huge. So <laughs> went with this one. It was in the uh, open box scratch, scratch and dent, dent. Yeah. special. Definitely. So we'll have to maybe put a strategic magnet here or there, but um, it was already on sale, $60 off, and they knocked off another 50. So couldn't pass it up. <sighs> Tyler's going to hoist this bad boy out of here. <laughs> I'm just showing you and our pile of garbage. Christy loves when I make grunts and groans for everything that I do. Oh my gosh, it's obscene. I, I do it tying my <laughs> shoes, so. <laughs> yeah, they back to that being elderly thing. So these are the couches that oh, are going to go in the RV. The kids are not going to be happy. Here, let me with... set this down for a second. You can get the front end of it. Okay. The kids are not going to be happy with us taking these couches. They kind of have a hangout here, but, but yeah. It's a pretty good size. Yeah. Top freezer. What nice. more could he ask for? Right. I think Harvey's been jealous. We've been spending so much time over here. So we're going to get back to work on the electrical, try to wrap it up. Is it weird to personify an RV? Like it has feelings. <laughs> Tyler's just finishing up securing the converter. And we were thinking about the light fixtures we bought last night. Actually, it's a two-pack, but we're only going to use one here and this above the sink. And you can get the gist of what it's going to look like. But the thing is, it's designed to be a residential light fixture. So instead of trying to figure out how to run a switch to that without killing the power going to the master bedroom up there, um, we are going to install this little toggle switch. So we just picked this up. Here's the literature that it came with. So it's just a single pull, single throw. Should just be able to interrupt the positive here. And the thought is to just have it come right out the side of this fixture. So you can use the residential fixtures in an RV. You just have to use the 12 volt specific bulbs for dc types of things so got some of those bulbs don't see why this won't work but we'll give it a shot so i took the positive and hooked it here under the switch got the hole started it with the drill bit and then had to finish it up with the dremel the drill is getting a little wild on me so i'm going to feed that through and put these little cover pieces on all right so there it is that says on and off I don't actually know which way is on and off, but I could switch this metal plate around if I need to. But there's the switch, and we'll just hook the wires up. But it's pretty sweet. You like it, babe? That is super cool. Good job. Thanks. All right. <laughs> dinner time. <laughs> Here we are. Having dinner with our boy. Yeah, first meal in Harvey. We usually don't do this, but... Being that we're on such a tight timeline, leaving for camping tomorrow, we got to uh, multitask. <laughs> right. Ella's going to be so upset that's upside down. <laughs> <laughs> Beggars can't be choosers. So here we're just replacing. We're going to leave an outlet here, but there was an old brown one there. It had some primer on it, so we're going to replace that. Um, coming around here, we're going to replace this one. Same thing. We'll put a GFI in there, though. And then next to it, right here, if we're clever enough, 
we're going to hopefully put a switch that will allow us to either send power to this outlet, which would be like air fryer or other kitchen things, um, or send water to the, send water to the, oh, <laughs> send electricity <laughs> to the hot water heater, which would um, be under the sink. So we would only ever use one at a time and hopefully avoid tripping breakers. We had a copper propane line oh. running here. I'm trying to reuse this wire. It was it used to run all the way back to the kitchen when the kitchen was back there. So we're trying to pull it down and under the camper so it can come up over here for the the stove top. Oh. Little more. That's about it right there. Okay. Hi. What are you doing? Uh, well, I pulled the world's shortest fish line. What do you call it? Well, a fish wire. Fish um, wire. Oh. It was what? <laughs> it was just a scrap one that you had in your box. Well, so okay. I have these wires that I'm trying to get into this hole. So if I do this, yeah. in theory, can I rip this tape off? Sure. So, yeah, in theory, they can come back, right? Yeah. Oh, come on, baby. If it doesn't work, yeah, then you're in trouble. <sighs> Look at me. So you had the best idea ever. Thank you. This one? Well, yeah. <laughs> I invented it myself. I call it fish wiring. <laughs> <laughs> fishing for wire, wire. fishing there is that what go. it is that's exactly it see i made that up and now everyone's going to want to fish their wires right so yeah the the reason being <laughs> i didn't want our light off centered by three inches so now centered up perfect got the hole drilled and you ready to send it up sure you ready yep <laughs> There it is. Got it. That's good. Sweet. All right. So what that's going to do is it's going to split our cooktop onto a different circuit breaker than the rest of the kitchen because it's going to pull quite a bit of amps and there's not much over here that's pulling any kind of amps other than the converter, which we won't use all the time. So we're hoping this will do the trick and we won't be popping breakers all the time. If you have a keen eye, you may have already noticed this, but important safety tip when installing your bathroom towel holders, um, make sure your wall's thick enough. This is a three-way switch, so three separate sets of 12-2 wire going in here, and it's not exactly what I would call an easy fit. I'm sweating. Uh, I was wondering what that watery stuff was coming off of your skin. You're not used to that, are you? No. I'm not one who sweats, weirdly enough. No. Well, I sweat probably way too much. <laughs> so maybe I'm sweating enough for both of us. So we just plugged in our short power to an extension cord outside and our converter. I didn't realize I had plugged it in to an outlet <laughs> earlier. Uh, so thankfully, uh, green light means we didn't smoke check anything right now we've got the battery off because actually we stole the battery for our other camper but the dc stuff should still work because of the converter right yeah but the only thing we have dc this up the bathroom the bathroom light yeah so all right so this medicine cabinet's ac which is on boom working so that's a good sign we didn't, oh yeah there's multi features okay this light, which is yet to be screwed in because, you know, um, we'll, we'll figure it out, is DC. So, ah, it worked. It worked. Dude, <laughs> you did it. Let me run and get an outlet tester real quick. And I can plug in to see if these outlets are hot. I mean, you can try to plug the shop back into that one real quick. That should work, even though the wires over here are. So, dangerously like this, do not touch. 
Out. Well, okay. We're going to unplug it right away before we leave. But So, in theory, we've got our three-way switch. One way operates this outlet, and the other way sends it to our hot water heater. Yes. Okay? That's, that's what we've got going. All right. So, does it work right now? No. Okay. So, if you hit the switch, does it work? No. <laughs> Oh, that's a GFI. Oh, it flashed. Oh, oh my God. <laughs> oh, the oh, best sound in the world. Right. That does make me feel better. That's, I, oh, man. I hated was, to, like, we have to end this soon. Right. But it's, I mean, it's getting dark. I hated to end it on such a bad note. That would be a disappointment. So is there a way without frying anyone? To test the end of that yellow with your little tester thing, or is that just for when things are off? Well, I mean, I could put a meter to it. Um, probably can shock myself on camera. Now, did I flip the switch off, right? So, so it should just be now, hot no, going you, down here. No, you turn the vacuum off. Okay, so that's hot. Yeah, there. see the outlet just the light just went off on the outlet. On off. Oh yeah. yeah, look at that. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um, okay. So that One. should be, in theory, going down <laughs> to what would become our water heater. And also, see that white one? Don't don't touch that. Yeah. It's actually the black one, but well, no, I mean the this <laughs> oh, that the wire is white. I see yeah. where you're going. Yeah, so you can, you know, touch that. All right. Shielding, if you want. So, <laughs> if you're feeling risky. AC wire. Black is hot. White is brown. And I, I've got so much going on right now. It's ridiculous. I don't know if I can touch these two together at the same time. <laughs> oh, man. This is... Oh, well, yeah. It's not, I'm not supposed to be doing it this way. Okay, so don't do it this way, everyone. Yeah, one one nineteen. How about that? All right, now let me flip the switch. Can you hold it long enough? Hold on, you're bouncing around now. Oh, sorry. All right, go. Yep, down to zero. Okay. Oh man, we did it! Oh my gosh, dang! All right. I mean, I'm not gonna say oh, you're pretty much a genius. <laughs> wow, I don't think I've ever been called a genius before. <laughs> oh, good job. The only unknown so far is our battery shut off. The battery's not in, of course. Right now, it's off. When it when it's turned to green and on, the converter should be charging our battery as well as supplying DC to our panel. Yeah. All right. So we will experiment with that at a later date. I'm gonna assume it works. You did Why great. Wouldn't it? Right. Thank you all again for watching. Every week we're just amazed at how many people are commenting. It's, you know, a lot of the same people that we get to see each week and then some new people jump in. It's been really exciting. So thank you for everyone who subscribed. If you haven't yet, we'd love it if you did. Um, if you like the videos, please continue to give the thumbs up and anything you want to comment, we love to hear from you. Um, upcoming, I am dying to get more done inside, especially now that we have the wires kind of where they need to be so i really want to get going on that i know we need to do brakes and we have those sweet green new wheels that we still need to get on sure so um all of that's going to be coming up we're gonna take the next week off and go on a nice family vacation we'll come up with a good game plan for harvey here um so maybe we'll share some pictures from our vacation or some video That'd i don't nice. know that would be something different. It's a beautiful so, time of year. I don't know. Yeah. And it'll show some retro campers that we see in the state park. That would so. be cool. Yeah. Yeah. So anyway, um, thanks again. We've got to go do laundry. We appreciate you. And we'll see you next time. All right. See you guys. Take care.